feel like I've played this guy before, maybe in bracket, but I just, guy in the I just, I, yeah, I just can't remember off the top of my head, though. Either that or we can just play some quick, but as we wait for the match. I don't think they, I don't think our, our our audience can even see one. Three, there it is. Two, Game number one. one. We're gonna jump into Go. Pokemon Stadium two. Warren Bahamut versus Kirby Kid. I'm, I'm kid I'm supposed to say Kirby Kid. Probably. Yeah. Probably. But yeah, we saw you immediately just at the start of it. You already saw Warren Bahamut using his brain on the air, beating him out in the air. That. And just getting big trades like that, that's really important for Ganon to be able to get and be solid in on the get the kill tech chase situation. He's gonna get it one more time, he's looking for it, and he gets the fair out. Absolutely. Lord Muhammad making quick work of Kirby Kid's first thought already only to get 50% himself. Here's a combo starter for Kirby Kid. Doesn't get too much except the fair, but a potential edge card right here. Might do the trick forward smash to send him back off the field. Oh, there we go. Thunderdome's force him to go high, tries to go over it, then he's gonna force him to go high. Not gonna work for him, but a big combo coming in! Oh my god, Lord Muhammad is surely making this character work right now. It's not an easy feat at all, especially against Pikachu, who's so light and nimble. Uh, he also has really superior frame data, as you mentioned before, so he should be able to break out of most combos very easily. Yeah, but if you miss a boxing scenario like that, it makes it difficult. Yeah, try to go in, but there's too much shield stun on that. Woo! Thank God, push it back for a hitbox. That could have been going to zip right through. 124% now on Kirby Kid. Lord Summon still looking strong on his second shot. Uh, I like that. He tried to use his air to scare him off and try to do an aggressive option and then go in for it. That be not going to work out for him. Let's see if he can try to make his landing approach. Alright, Kirby Kid with a grab. This inputs the neutral B, but still got a little bit of suspension. Uh oh, double warlock, uh, flame chokes, excuse me. That is, Lord Mahat is doing a good job of falling. Okay, that will work too, I guess. Uh, Lord Mahat is doing a good job of racking up the damage, especially on tech chase flame choke yeah. situations. If you get the right reads, you can rack up a lot of damage, and that's just scary for Ganondorf. It gets you in a bad position. Ooh, interesting. Yeah, able to equalize the stocks right away. Uh, that's going to be crucial. You don't want Ganon to get away with having a percent lead or getting any sort of extra credit, especially if he's a stock up. Yeah. So, really crucial for Kirby Kid right there. I think Lord Bahamut's either practicing or just a little bit shaky. You can see Ganondorf has a couple of setups he can do out of there. One! Oh, that was so scary. Ooh. It looked like he was about to get that, but the Kirby Kid with the right reaction. Yeah, the swiftest of grabs. And Kirby Kid almost trying to end it all with that down air. Does. All right, dancing around the neutral. Both players recognizing that one neutral exchange right now could do the trick. Oh, what's the option? Oh yeah, he's doing a good, such a good job on those tech chases. Finding that burst option every time Kirby Kid wins something. It covers the spot dodge because of that startup on it. And if he goes into shield, it's just a command grab. So those defensive options that he pulls out after he whiffs something, yeah. but Lord Bahamut is ready for it to take it into action. Yeah, and that was like a two-level read right there as well. N not only recognizing like that he has a punish because his opponent whiffed an attack, but the fact that Kirby Kid had been opting for these defensive options after whiffing an attack. So just waited for the spot dodge to come out. Hit him with the flame choke, got him with the up smash, and we're gonna move on into game number two. The switch to Falco coming out for Kirby Kid, right back to Pokemon Stadium 2. Yeah, a little bit slower, but he's got a decent range on air-to-air -air combat, and he's got a lot better movement on uh, aerial movement compared to Ganondorf. So we'll have to see how this goes down, but again, Kirby Kid kind of playing the same story that it was with the Pikachu. It's not really a character issue. I see that he's kind of misspacing these things on aerials and letting Lord Bahamut get these grabs. You never want to let Ganon have to be the one that uh, punishes you back. You want to have to try and make him approach you, and you punish him instead. Absolutely. And I mean, that's that's this is exactly the kind of situation where Ganon thrives, where the uh, Ganon player has a, a, a lot more fundamental, a, a sound more... A more sound neutral game and better fundamentals. Uh, so Lord Bahamut trying to bait out options from Kirby Kid. Uh, Lord Bahamut showing he's proficient in the matchup. That dash attack cross up on shield will catch a lot of people off guard, but he just waited, dropped his shield, knew he had plenty of time. Got a big follow up here on that dare. You can't, you can't take that at all in this game, especially when it's grounded. Absolutely. All right, Kirby Kid trying to get away from this flame chokes. Not trying to lose any stock too early and you can't tech those the aerial flame choke will in fact send you into a guaranteed setup 
down throw, can't follow up after anything. Again, these pushing a button while he's landing, but Lord Muhammad is nowhere to be found, allowing him to find these situations one more time, and he gets the advantage position needs, gets that fair, closes out the stock before Kirby Kid can do any major damage. Yeah, Kirby Kid trying to make his way back in with Lord Muhammad at 129%. He got a bit of a juggle. Now he just needs to find the kill. Forward air on shield, gonna be get punished really easily with the grab. Okay, back, land on him with a back air, able to equalize the stocks yet again. I feel like Lord Bahamut might have been trying to find a parry. He looked like he dropped shield right as the bear was yeah. coming out. Might have been a misinfluence, something like that. But regardless, Kirby Kid is going to be able to get that stock win. Not without taking 72%, barely touching Lord Bahamut in the process as he comes back from the angel platform. 41 to 72%, Lord Bahamut with that dash attack. Oh, okay, landing on him with the neutral air as well. A really great way to mix up his landing. Yeah, Ganon's hitboxes last so long, you yeah. can't use them to land like that. It's very similar to how you see Snake's back air. They la it lasts for so long, they'll catch people off guard as they try to hold an attack and try to punish with something. Ooh. Okay. 114, and Lord Bahamut is already just throwing out these smash attacks, expecting Kirby Kid to kind of just roll inwards. Okay, Lord Bahamut's just kind of playing with his food, it looks like. Yeah, he might want to be too careful, though. He isn't... At any percent where he can uh, really get too cheeky, but it does take that stock with the dash gang. This is what I'm talking about. Kirby Kid wasting no time at all. Yeah, looks like Lord Bahamut is the one still controlling the match. Finally going to get a big combo. Doesn't start off with the Nair. Usually the Nair, you can put them on that Pokemon Stadium platform afterwards to be able to get a good follow-up after. He's just going to go for the guaranteed stuff with the up air, you know, get that solid damage that he needs to slowly build it back up. Down throw, okay, interrupted with forward air from Kirby Kid. He gets the up throw into the up air. It's not going to be too much damage on uh, Ganon, who's such a heavyweight. Yeah. Uh, did the drag down fair, wasn't quite positive on it, though. Not going to be able to follow up afterwards. Oh, but the potential uh, forward smash sends oh, it at an awful angle. Goes a little oh, bit too deep oh, on stage. Dude, I can respect it, though. <laughs> he went so ham for that down air.